Hey, what's up? I'm back with another video. I thought that this video I would show you guys what's in my bag and what I carry around me every single day. First, I want to talk about bag size. So, it's really good to have a bag that's at least this size. I am not the kind of girly girl that carries around a pocketbook. It's just not me. So, I just recently bought this bag because I usually carry around a bag that's this size and it just was not cutting it and you definitely need something bigger so I would say anything from this size and above if you like messenger bags again something this size and then if you're into pocketbooks usually your pocketbooks way bigger than this but just so you guys know I want to first show you what I keep in my bag I actually keep my keys my phone my lipstick all that stuff in my bag but my main products are obviously my ASME products and those are my priority when I'm going around and I just want to let you guys know how important it is for you to always be carrying around your ASME products just in case that there's a leak you know we don't know what we're doing every day what's going on with the wafer if it's starting to come off or anything and it would just be horrible. I know a lot of people have had leaks with their ostomies, and I don't want any part of that. I don't even want to know. <laughs> that would just be terrible. I'm a teacher, so if I was like teaching my kids, and all of a sudden I had stool running down my leg, I just, I don't want to know. But that's why, just in case that does happen, I always carry my ostomy products in my pocketbook. Again, it's so important that you guys are carrying your products with you. I can't reiterate that enough. You really don't want to know what happens if you don't. I'm going to show you guys what's inside my bag. So the first thing is this kit. And I got this in my sample products box when I was given all of my samples through Hollister and Coloplast and all those places. So they gave me this and I absolutely love it. It's just, it really helps keep me organized, as you can see. I like it a lot. At the top, I always carry paper towels. So I pre-cut them into squares, and I think it's awesome because I, I get like four squares out of one paper towel, and number one, it saves paper towels. <laughs> if you're a bit of an environmental freak, like I can sometimes be, these are definitely awesome. And then. I mean, it just makes it so much easier if I'm cleaning my stoma or putting something on top of my stoma so it doesn't leak. It just, I like this. If you guys saw my previous video on how to change your ostomy, you'll see that that's exactly what I use and I was just quickly grabbing and it was just easy access. In this pocket right here, I have my bag and my wafer. So it's right here. And I have on my wafer, it's pre-cut. Really important. When you are going through an emergency situation where you need to change your bag, you're not going to sit there cutting with the scissors. You just want everything ready so you can pop it back on. Because who knows where you're going to be, what situation you're going to be in. Is there going to be a bathroom? Is there going to be privacy? You really don't know. And I was instructed by my ostomy nurses, and I'm sure you were all instructed by yours, they usually should be having a pre-cut one. And yes, our ostomy shrinks all the time, which is why I always carry around as well, even though I always use it too, but I have my Sarah Ray. It's perfect because I literally just form it to my stoma without putting it on first. I know a lot of people like to put it on first. I'm not one of those people because just in case I do cut too big, I'm really nervous about my skin and how it looks, so I just want to make sure that everything's okay, and I'll put this on first to ensure that my skin doesn't get stool on it. God forbid it leaks onto my skin. I would put this on, slap this on, and you're good to go. So I have both of those there. I also have a mirror my little compact mirror so that I can see underneath and just make sure everything's okay because if I'm doing it quickly it's really just good to have this to be able to see. Now in my bottom pouch I have my no stick barrier film so my swab that I use and if you see my previous video you'll see how I use it. 
I have a universal remover wipe, an adhesive remover. Again, I, I, I don't use those, but I just had it from when I was, and I just keep it just in case. You never know. There could be situations. I have two of those. <laughs> and something else that I have that I am totally obsessed with, and again, I totally forgot to put it in my favorite products video, which is crazy because this is definitely, besides the poopery, this is definitely my number one, and I was taught this trick by one of my good friends who had an ostomy, and it's the Arm & Hammer BB diaper bags. They smell amazing. So when you're putting your ostomy inside the bag, you literally don't smell anything, and they're just fantastic. So it kind of just looks like like this. If you guys could see, I'm not really sure. I'm sorry if you can't. Um, so that's what it looks like. More products that I have is in the product video that I did, I have my M9 odor eliminator. And I'll just spray that into my bag. Sometimes when I go to the bathroom and I see that, uh, you know, it's starting to smell. And I'll just spritz it into the bottom of my bag, shake it up a little bit. And it just helps. So it's really great to carry around with you. And again, it's the M9 Hollister Odor Eliminating Spray. And you can get this on Edge Park. I could put the link below if you guys want to just write, comment below if you want me to post it. Then also... I carry around my Soma powder, which you obviously need when you're doing changing, so I have that just sitting right in here. And the last thing that I have is my poopery, which is my favorite. So if you have any IBD type of thing going on, or you have an ostomy, we know that we're constantly going to the bathroom, and it doesn't smell too great. I mean, this is for literally anybody, even if you don't have an IBD. And I'm obsessed because I'll literally spray a few sprays in, three to five sprays as it says. I'll empty out my bag or I'll go to the bathroom and it's like I pooped out flowers. <laughs> it's totally great. And nobody ever knows that you went to the bathroom. So if you want to mask that odor, highly recommend the poopery spray. And I bought it on Amazon. There's all different sizes. You can decide what you want. But again, I, I got the travel size so that I can always have it with me. And I think that that's really it. That's all the things that I carry in my bag for my ostomy. Again, always, always, always carry things with you. I promise. You know, I thankfully I have not been that person that had a leak and had to change it. But I know so many people who have. And I never want to be that person where I'm sitting on the subway or I'm in my classroom teaching my students. I'm, I, I mean, I'm out to dinner and all of a sudden that leaks and you don't have your your equipment on you to go do Ugh. nope <laughs> no thank you <laughs> and I know you all feel the same way so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I hope this helped you to see what I carry in my bag and let me know if I'm missing anything <laughs> that I should be carrying in my bag comment like below and I'll see you guys for my next video bye